Hey guys, let us know is with Crypto Marie Loco in International. Nearly one in five Republicans believe if Trump loses, he should do whatever it takes to put himself in White House. So there was no respect, no decency for rules and regulation. Whether you lose or not, you should take power. That's dictatorship. That's not China. That's not Vladimir Putin. That's not um, Kim Jong-un. That's not Nicola Maduro. You don't take power if you did not win. It just doesn't make sense. 19% of Republicans believe former President Donald Trump should do whatever it takes to return to power, even if that means calling the results invalid. If he loses, a new national poll shows. The group of Republicans willing to depart from democratic norms and possibly even use violence to get their way is getting bigger as Trump continues to falsely claim that the 2020 election was stolen from him and that November's showdown has already been rigged. The poll con conducted by the non-bipartisan public religion Research Institute and the Brookings Institute reveals how Trump has molded the Republican Party and his image as he motivates its most extreme members. That's crazy, yeah? Democrats argue that Trump is a threat to democracy and some in the party, 12% in the poll, say Vice President Kamala Harris should also reject the result if she loses. The poll also shows that 29% of the Republicans believe that true American patriots may have to resort to violence to save the country. 16% of independents and 8% of Democrats say the same. What kind of world are we living in? These people are crazy. The president and founder of the Research Institute, Robert Johns, told ACES, I have been doing this for 20 years, and these answers are keeping me up at night. He added, those saying that the loser of the election should do whatever it takes to assume power are essentially back in a coup, calling it pretty dark and worrisome. Yes, indeed. 41% of Americans who trust conservatives news outlet back the idea of using political violence to achieve political goals. Jesus. And 30% of the loyal Fox News viewers support the idea, according to the survey. Among those who don't watch TV news, 18% said they would support political violence. And the same was true for 13% of those who said they don't trust mainstream media. There are also differences in support for political violence along racial and religious lines with 33% of Later Day Saints and 28% of right evangelicals. Protestants believing that patriots may have to resort to violence to save the country. Mm -mm -mm. Among Hispanic Catholics, that figure was 18% among black protest protestants. It was 14% and 10% of Jewish Americans back the idea of using political violence. However, there are some issues that appear to unite most Americans, such as limiting Supreme Court justice to serve until a certain age or a specific number of years instead of for life which 73% of Americans agree with, according to the poll. We need to pray and leave America in the hand of the Lord. We cannot have violence. We cannot create bloodbath like Donald Trump said. If he doesn't win, it is what it is. The people have spoken. We have to go with whomever they choose to be their leader, period. Meanwhile, 68% of Americans are also united in the 
opposing legislation that would make it illegal to use or receive FDA approved drugs such as the abortion pill me what's that excuse me guys me for Princeton and the mail again guys subscribe let me know how you feel about the whole thing violence is not the way to get business done to do things I think the American people can come into a mutual conclusion and allow the person who is the winner to take the overall office subscribe thank you for watching bye